We started the program for the need of doing workshops in schools. We devised a program that was more like a residency, which gives more contact and more building up trust with communities, and especially elders in those communities. So we devised a program that is three years long, where we embed ourselves in the community to build up that trust, but also to leave something behind. This year we completed three communities, Broome in Western Australia, Mackay in Central Queensland, and Theodore, Central Queensland. The most challenging thing is engaging the elders over the many years. Other people have come in and taken their stories and just used it for their own use, not understanding that these stories belong to somebody. And we try very hard to tell them that the, we bring a program into the community and what is created in those communities stays in the communities. And that includes their stories or any paintings or any dances that are created. The other people wanted my story, which I wouldn't give to them. I, as I said, when I'm ready to give a story to, it will be to my family. How the story is being told through dance, and that's what Bangara comes. It comes in and it brings life into those performances, into our stories. And I was very, very happy to see that. I was asked to come to the rekindling programs with Bangara, and thank goodness I think I did, because the kids that are involved, they connect, but they don't know where and how. And hopefully this is a way of them to express themselves and to find out a bit more about their ancestors. I think this program is important because a lot of kids my age and older don't know a lot about their culture and where they're from. And when you learn more about your culture, you learn more about yourself. My struggles throughout the program was making up the dances. And now that I feel really glad that I know them and that it can be told for future generations. This experience has widened my knowledge about my community. It's gotten me amongst country and to be able to put that into dancing and what I'm passionate about means a lot. The first time I met them, they were a bit standoffish, but seeing them at the end and the way they come up and got their certificates, yeah, I'm going in for a hug. One of the things that I'm really proud of this program is building a program that is embedded in communities that allows elders, the youth, and communities to share in an experience that is uniquely their own, so they can pass on their cultural knowledge and their dances and stuff in a safe space. Rekindling has been running successfully for the past 11 years across six states. <laughs>